You know, sometimes I think I just belong in California. I belong in California. I just feel like it's where I belong. I mean, I moved to California with my youngest daughter after my oldest and firstborn daughter had moved out here to go to, co to, go to law school. And she went to Bolt in Berkeley, California. And I had always wanted to move to California, but whatever, you know? And I'm an East Coast girl, basically. My family's from the East Coast, you know? And when you're East Coast, sometimes people move, but you know, my, my mother was from the West Coast. My father was from the East Coast. And my um, mother had a huge family in the on the West Coast, but my father did not want to go out there and spend any time with her family. He was not social. He could not relate to them. He did not care. He was all work, work, work. He was completely all about himself. Oh my God, I'm so tired. I just wanted to say that about California, and here I am actually in fucking California right now. Now, Jimmy was talking about going to, um, Jimmy was talking about going to jail, and he's got some legal thing going on, but I'm not, I have to watch the video, but I'm not sure if tomorrow's got to be there at eight o'clock in the morning. That's, that's today, basically, which is Monday, and I was supposed to be in court today, Monday, actually. Isn't that weird that both Dolly and I Oh my God, that both Dolly and I um, were supposed to go to court today. Well, it turns out that I had requested a continuance because I, was, I knew I wasn't gonna be able to go. And it turns out the one, the ex-tenant who, whose name I won't mention it unless there's many people with her first name, but she ended up writing something that she couldn't make it today either. But Dolly has to go. So she wanted to con either continue it. I wanted it to be dismissed because it was com it's a completely frivolous case. There's, I have not done anything to her. I've got, I have not done anything to her. But it doesn't matter what I do or don't do. She still files claims and pretends I just. That's delusional. Plus, she called me delusional. She called me um, mentally ill or something. I'm like, are you a doctor? Are you allowed to prescribe and tell me what I am and what I'm not? Like, who are you? Why don't you get out of here? You know, it's like, stop, shut up. It's like, stop, just shut up, you know? Stop telling me what I am and what I have and what I do and don't do. She's really, and I don't, you know, her relationship with the cops, I don't know if it's still there, but uh, it's just, I don't know. It's very nerve wracking to live between her and the cops. I'm, I live smack in the middle. And she does, I own my house. She doesn't. So why should I be run out of town? You know, she's acting like I'm bullying her. Or I'm stalking her. I don't give a shit about her. I want her out of my life. I don't, I wish she'd move to Seattle. But no, she stays in Belfast. You know, she hates Belfast. She's been talking about how much she hates Belfast for years. Ever since I met her, she's been telling me she hates Belfast and she wants to get out of it, but she doesn't leave. And then she complains about the Lyme disease and the ticks and the ticks and the ticks and the ticks and yet gets all these cats, you know. I helped her look for a house. She, she just completely turned on me and maybe she's right. She has Lyme disease. Maybe the Lyme disease did make her brain crazy. She, she's like, oh, it makes you paranoid. Okay, well, maybe that's why you're acting like I'm doing something I'm not doing. I left town. I moved out of Maine for three months or however long I was gone. And then, well, it wasn't three months, but... And then, you know, it was a while, it was weeks and weeks. And then I went, and then I was hiding out friend's house and just not one, I don't trust her at all. And when she's got g cops, she's in cahoots with cops that might be dirty cops. These are young children who barely know anything and they're gun trigger and they can't wait. I mean, it's just, oh my God. I wanna get rid of all these, um, just awful people. At the airport, I met this wonderful guy. I really liked him. His name was John. And we he's a conspiracy theorist from back in the day. And he's always been that way. He did not get the VAX. And, you know, he had these big blue eyes. And he said he was Viking blood, which is my blood. I'm also Viking blood. Jimmy's got some Viking in him, too, a little bit. And, uh... Oh, I still feel like I'm moving like when you're on the plane, but I don't I don't feel as bad as I usually feel. Usually the trip just exhausts me. I actually feel I actually feel pretty good.
I just can't believe I'm here. I cannot wait to go see some of my old haunts that I absolutely love. You know, I just love California. And um, I'm kind of tired of being in Maine where I I love Maine and I love my properties. I really love my my business. I mean, I enjoy it. I, I thoroughly enjoy it. Um, I, I feel bad that I've missed out on all this money because I've been running from her and she did file a lawsuit against me. I knew she wouldn't. I gave her, I made sure I went out of my way to make sure that I did not break the law, that I did nothing wrong so that she had nothing against me, but she still filed this 10 page fucking thing. That's just full of bullshit. I can't believe the judge even listened to it. I think they're bored over there. I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know why they would say she's in cahoots. Why doesn't she move out of town if she hates this town? I'm, I own my house. I bought that house. I've had it for 20 years. I'm not gonna, I don't wanna have to, her run me out. What the fuck is she all, all I did was make, get, have her be a tenant, you know? And now she wants to give me a criminal record that I don't deserve at all. I hate this fucking bitch, I really do. I just fucking hate her. I'm so sick of this. Narcissistic, twisted, fucking, and self indulgent, crazy fucking bullshit. It's like, what are you talking about? I don't barely know you now. I feel like I, I never knew you. You know, now I now I just feel like I never knew you. You know, that's weird. Anyway, I'm gonna go to bed.